Hello, it's Uphill 71. And yes, once again, for a third time this year, we're back at Pictured Rocks. And this is a Beaver Creek area, Beaver Creek Trailhead. And a big difference for this trip is we'll be staying at Loney Creek. This will be our first time ever at that campsite. Should be a nice one. We did hike by it once. And this is Labor Day weekend, so all the campsites were booked. So I kind of just waited and I found one that opened up from a cancellation. So we booked that last night. So this is a, kind of like a last minute planned trip. And we're now on the trail and we should enjoy this because the uh, temperatures are very warm today. It's actually in the mid 80s. Now we come to our first little junction, 1.6 miles to Lake Superior. White Pine Trail to the right. We'll take this, I think you see, but it's a short amount of distance. No, I don't need a map for this area. Plus I have my phone. We've been here so many times. Yeah, this is a Beaver Creek campground. Yeah, and this is a trail right over here. 1.5 Loney Creek. Now this is a nice part of the trail. We've been walking on this for about the last quarter mile. And right next to us is the Beaver Lake. It's a good sized lake. Nice like little sand beach along it. We just passed by the group campsite back there. And it's right next to the lake. It's nice. And now our campsite's 0.2 of a mile. That'll be our Loney Creek. And here we are, Loney Creek. It's like a fire ring right here, bear box. And it's next to the lake. The lake is just off in the distance right there. Now we'll set up our tent, wherever our campsite three is. Okay, we just took a quick look for our campsite post. Post number one is kind of buried in those bushes. It looks like they set up their tents mostly right over in that area, close to the lake. The fire ring and bear box is right over there. Campsite four is just on the other side of the trail, right over in that direction. And then we have campsite number two, it's right here. And we were unable to find campsite number three. There's no post anywhere. It's hard to see exactly where it may have been. So we just decided to set up where it looks like everybody has been setting up for campsite number three, which is right over along the river, and I'll show you. And this will be our home for a night. And we're thinking that this is campsite three. Like I said, there's no post anywhere. But this is a beautiful spot. It's right next to the stream, Loney Creek. Yeah, the ground is definitely packed down here. This is where everybody's been camping. And there's ash here, so... Well, we had one more little change in plans. This time, we decided we're just gonna go enjoy it right next to Beaver Lake, because that's a good sized lake. Got a nice little beach spot. It's more private around here. Maybe we'll take a hike around the loop tomorrow morning. That's possible. Or we could just hike back to maybe a little over a mile and a half from here. To the trailhead so we'll decide that in the morning for now we're gonna go enjoy our cooking a dinner right next to the water maybe we'll watch the sunset from over here okay now we're just leaving the campsite this is how close it is to the beaver lake nice little path right through these maples a lot of small maples right here. And now we'll be coming right up to the water. Yeah, this is beautiful. There's actually a sign here for some reason. Hiawatha Water Trail. And this is a lake. Wow, that's the mouth of Loney Creek. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Look how calm this water is. Nice little sandy beach. Looks like it's shallow. Yeah, this is a nice spot. We don't need to go to Lake Superior right now. Otherwise, we had a good total of eight miles of hiking in front of us here. So this definitely works. Well, before we decide to cook our dinner, we're gonna go and enjoy this water for a little bit. It is very nice. Looks like a wishbone. Here, grab an end. No telling what you wish. All right, it's our wishbone stick. Oh, she <laughs> I got wins. the bigger. <laughs> Yeah, and the mouth of this river is really cool. And that water is cold. Isn't it? Wow, as soon as you step into the stream water, what a difference in temperature. And that's the mouth of the Loney Creek. And the water is just extremely warm when you're right over here. And it looks like this lake is shallow, at least for a little ways. We'll have to try walking out here. And it's shallow for a long ways out here. You see the Malsa River right there. Our campsites are in the woods just over there. But this is a nice, very nice lake. It's only about maybe four feet deep where I'm standing. I'm sure it gets a little deeper out in the lake. Because this is a good sized lake. Nice spot to go swimming. Peaceful. Now we're starting to bust out our cook kits for our dinner and a few hours from now, it's gonna be a nice sunset over this lake. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I got my good old alcohol stove again. I'm gonna light it. Yeah, let's throw my lid on, make sure there's no dirt on this. I know, I put mine on top of mine. Now I'm going to try my Backpackers Pantry risotto with chicken. And it looks good. Now I'm going to try this. Wow, this is very good. Well, like on every trip, it's time to filter some water with our Sawyer Squeeze. Okay, we have, for the most part, everything set up in our duplex tent. We're using our enlightened equipment, 20 degree bags, top quilts. That's a little overkill. <laughs> hey, Especially on an 85 degree day. But we are near a cold stream, so. Yeah, this is near Lake Superior, so you never know. These sleeping pads are a climate. Uh, what are they, Static 5, I believe? I think they're only around $40. They've been working very good so far. Can't complain. My pillow with Sea to Summit, excellent. Highly recommend. I think you still have the Outdoor Vitals. I liked it, but mine just kept going flat after each trip, or actually during each trip. Here's a mark, did you drill on my pillow? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'll go take a look around this campsite at the stream and some of the nice things around here, nice area. Now we'll check out this area around our campsite. This is the main trail and the bridge crossing Loney Creek. And I've just seen a few times already. This is a nice stream. Sandy, very clear water. Oh, it's beautiful. And on the other side, you hear some rapids. So we'll be listening to that all night. That's awesome. Oh, look at this little guy climbing up his, I don't know if you call it a web or what, one of these little worms. Ew. Yeah, 
another thing that we've been noticing lately. We're starting to see some fall colors. Now we're gonna go down by Beaver Lake and hope for a nice little sunset tonight. There we go. That looks like a nice little spot to relax to watch the sunset. Yep. Look how beautiful this is. It looks like the sunset's gonna be what 15 minutes away maybe. Should be perfect night for one. Now we're starting to get a nice sunset over the Beaver Lake. Now we're just going to kick back, enjoy our fire. And in a little while, we're going to jump into our duplex tent right next to a nice stream that we'll be looking to all night. And then we'll see you in the morning. Hi, good morning everyone. Just waking up, put my shoes on. It's about 8 o'clock Eastern time. And I think we're going to take a hike down to the lake here. It's very nice out this morning, 62 degrees. Then we're thinking about if we should hike this loop, which would be about 9 miles, go along Lake Superior. We've done that a couple of times. I talked to my wife about it and maybe we'll take the mile and a half or mile and three quarter hike back to the trailhead and then go see some waterfalls I and mean, maybe Miner's Castle and some areas like that we haven't been in many years. So, right now I'm going to go get the, our bear bag out of the bear box, make a small breakfast. What a beautiful morning. A little common is on this lake. It's a little sandbar. I can see someone with a boat out there, most likely fishing. That's the first boat I've seen out there this year. Well, it looks like we've got everything all cleaned up well, everything's packed, and we should be getting on trail very soon. That's a cool rock formation right along the trail. All the sandstone. Look at the way these trees are growing into that. Now our first stop will be Miner's Beach. And it's a beautiful day to be down here. And this will be the beach with one of the streams Coming into Lake Superior, kind of a cool area. Some cliffs right over there. There we have tour boats over there. See Grand Island in the background. And it's beautiful Lake Superior. And a nice miner's beach. And it is crazy looking. Hornet or wasp or whatever it is. Now our next stop is at Miner's Castle. Look at that water. See some what, surfboarders down there? What do you call it? Paddleboards. Paddleboards. Now we're almost up to the Next overlook from Myers Castle, a couple of good views from the top of it. And for our final stop, this will be the beautiful Wagner Falls near Picture Rocks. And this is another fun weekend adventure for us up here at Pictured Rocks. And we will see you in the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Up to 71.